Good morning everyone, how you doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Well, I went off screen and just go all the way up to the Safari Gate. But yeah, I'm gonna try the Safari Zone at least once. So the Nuzlocke rule says for each new area, I think this will be an exception for the rules, followed by it is my own rules that I make. So for this, particularly only, the Safari Zone, you are given six new six areas per per zone, right? Or whatever your game. So within six areas, I have to find at least one second generation Pokemon in each zone. So I don't know what they are like. What is it? Marsh, forest, plains, or meadows? Whatever, all that stuff. So yeah. So this zone right here, I'll just call it Zone One. I don't know what it's called, but if it's second generation, I'll catch it. It's a nice powerful Magneton, but I cannot catch it, so just let it go. Let it go, let it go. Ugh, I hate that movie so much. I went, well, well, not really hate, but I went on a date with my ex-girlfriend to it. And then we just saw that movie because it was her birthday. And then, yeah, that song was so annoying. I'm like, Ugh, I had to be there. I had to be there. Anyways, we caught ourselves a hotbed. For I'm not gonna have that in my team. I'm just gonna leave it in the in the PC. It's a weak ass Pokemon, but still. A cotton weed Pokemon. Not gonna nickname it, just leave it in the PC. Not gonna be in my team anyway, so I don't need that one. It's also well, it's level 15 and we're like way behind for levels, so we should be at the right levels. Neither and female, nope. No oh, thank you. Next one. A centred, so I'll catch that one and leave in the PC too. Well it also helps increase my, my Pokedex. So yeah. Oh yeah, that's basically why this video is gonna be really short or not, depending on how long it is, cause after the Safari Zone I'll head over to Mahogany Town. Even though I got fly already, I mean, I already been there already. I can just go. There's one scene that I had to go through that that's been between Equitique and Mahogany Town. You'll see quite a bit. If you already know, you already know. But yeah. And before we head off to Ecritic City, there's like one couple of battlers I need to battle first because yesterday, last night, I didn't battle them because my team was on the yellow and I thought I can get away with it because they were so far away from my distance from there to the cliff. But yeah, I'm battling them now, full health. But they're using an Onyx and Cloyster, Ice Water, and a Rock type ground. You know, I have a rock type and a water type, so good pair, but if only Aqua has just a water type move that's just only a single opponent. Surf can do, but you gotta attack Firewood as well. It might KO him or her. 
But I guess Shadow Ball did the works. And it's this scene right there. Who's that Pokemon? Who's that? Who that? Who that? It's Suicune, of course. Look. It just pushed me off. Because it was trapped. Suicune. How brave it is. How refreshing it is. How beautiful it is. And how quickly it moves. Jiraco, you seem to be around where Suiku would appear. Well, that's okay. My desire to Suiku is far beyond yours. My grandpa was quite into myths. I heard so many stories. I won't stop following Suiku until I found out what you're after. You hear me? Well, I kind of said some wrong things, but oh well. Time to pick up some apricorns right here, there, and right over there. Speaking of apricorns, we haven't even got a call from an apricorn maker. What was his name? Kurt, yeah. Man, we didn't have a heard a word from him since. He said he would call, but I got no call. The only one I got to call is mom, which I keep ignoring. So, yeah. After, I'll head all the way to, to Mahogany Town. Then once I'm that, I'm signing off. I'll continue maybe on later on today or... Maybe tomorrow, because I'm not sure what's going to happen right now. So, signing off, and enjoy the video.